Around 10,000 migrants have arrived on Spain's Canary Islands so far this year, most of them crossing from Mauritania. Last week, the European Union and Spain pledged 210 million euros to help Mauritania clamp down on smugglers and to deter migrant boats. The Canary Islands are an important destination for people trying to reach continental Europe. Numbers of those attempting the dangerous Atlantic crossing are soaring. So too, the number of those who die. DW's Jan Philip Schultz reports from La Palmas and Morgan on Gran Canaria. A small cemetery on the Canary Islands. Blank spaces stand out between the other plaques. No name, no epitaph. These are the graves of unknown African migrants. There are now so many of these that the cemetery has had to expand. Modou often comes here. He survived the crossing from Senegal, but many people he knows didn't. A good friend has been missing for three weeks. This could be him or anyone else around me who has died. That's why I always feel incredibly sad when I'm here. The number of migrants who've made it to the Canaries is at an all-time high, but so too is the number of those who've died attempting the crossing. Few carry any documents, so identifying them is difficult. The EU requires all recovered bodies to be identified and properly buried, but in reality this rarely happens. Raiko Guerra manages the cemetery in this small community. He feels abandoned by his government. He says he gets no help in giving the migrants a dignified burial. Just a number, put in that box, finish. When we take the phone and call to Madrid or uh, to the superior government, they always say, don't worry, we'll see, don't worry, we'll see, but we don't have any solution. There are only a few experts on the island who can help identify the many dead. Javier Tapia is a pathologist. He and his team gather DNA samples, dental analyses, and photos of the deceased. Their final report is often as far as they get. Tapia says the past months have been exceptionally hard. The worst are the autopsies of small children. This is really difficult to process emotionally. You feel terrible and you just want to cry for a day or two. It's actually quite traumatic to be confronted with all that. Modu continues to search for more information about his missing friend. His relatives in Senegal keep asking him for news via WhatsApp. They've given up hope of getting information through official channels. I'm at my wit's end. His wife and his young daughter are waiting for news. And I don't know who to turn to. We just want to know if he's still alive or if he died. Maybe a miracle will happen, says Modu. But he knows that for all those unidentified people buried here on the island, there are many more unaccounted for lost at sea.